today I'm just gonna like update y'all like how my weight loss is going and unfortunately I have put on a bunch of weight. I had reached my goal at 550 and I'm back up to 596. How do you feel about going to a landed? I'm waiting for it to be over. Right. How did you gain 50 pounds? I don't know. I mean, you were supposed to go less, not more. You really want to do it this time? Because we're going to Atlanta this year for you. Yeah. Knowing that to put the weight back on and then having to go back to see Dr. Proctor is kind of scary. I have no clue what Dr. Proctor is going to say or do. Tammy, I'm getting the chair for you. I'm not sure how Dr. Proctor is going to react. He's already gave me a second chance. I have fallen off the wagon, boy. I will try harder. Get back on track. Okay. Yes, Tammy Slayton and Amy Hockerman. Okay. I'm waiting on Dr. Proctor, and Tammy and Amy ain't saying a word. And you can tell when they know they're going to get in trouble because both of them shut up and shut down. Amy's got Michael for support, so I'm going to go to the doctor's appointment with Tammy. It's really important to get Tammy back on track with her diet, and if I can help with that, I will. Hey, Tammy. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, how are you? Fun, how are you? My name is Chris. I'm her older brother. Dr. Proctor, nice to meet you. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my mask off. Feel free to do the same thing. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about the last several months since, since we met. What's been going on with you? I did get down to 550. Mm -hmm. But then I pandemic and everything happened. Just the healthier foods are a little harder to find. So what kind of things are you eating now? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Last time we met, Tammy was off of her weight goal. She was not really doing the things that she needed to do. I didn't approve her for surgery. My hope was that she would take that back home with her, use that as motivation to double down and start doing those things that she needed to do. Unfortunately, she's kind of gone the other way with it. Be careful. Five ninety-five. Tammy's gained nearly all the weight back that she had gotten off, so we are literally starting all over from scratch with her. I'm more concerned about Tammy now than I was before because what this tells me is that she needs a lot more work. She's got a lot further to go mentally before she's able to physically prepare herself for surgery. You know, worry about you. I've done the best that I can do. I've given Tammy multiple chances, but at this point, something has to change. It's clear that I just can't keep her as a patient. We need to look at this a little bit differently. What are your feelings on restarting? I'm for it. You're for it? All right. I think that then, if that's going to be the case, I would love to be able to take care of you and do your surgery. But I think that you're going to be better served if somebody who was closer to you is, is looking after you. When Dr. Proctor suggested I see someone else, part of me feels like she was giving up on me. It just felt like defeat. I mean, I understand he was wanting me to get better help than what he could provide, I guess. I think it would be in your best interest if we referred you to one of my colleagues who lives a little bit closer to you. I think the accountability of having a surgeon nearby whose office that you can go to weigh in more often and stay on top of things is going to be a whole lot better for you. 
because you're a very high risk patient. Sitting around and, and waiting to die is not a good way to live. We're not abandoning her. We're always going to be here for her, but she needs more consistent help closer to home. I wish her all the best, and I hope that she finds it within her to do the things that she needs to do to eventually get surgery. While you two are in Atlanta, we're gonna have you and Amy see a bariatric psychologist. Mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of understand again, have a refresher on the things that you need to do. I'm a little concerned about your whole approach and relationship with food, and we wanna work through that now. You okay with that? Yeah. All right. Well, listen, it was wonderful to see you. Thank you for bringing her and coming in. If you'll wait outside in the lobby, I'd like to talk to everybody before you head out. Okay. All right. How'd it go? Not good. Hey, guys. Um, now that we've got everybody gathered, I want to talk to you all. I'm worried about Tammy. I'm afraid that the longer this goes, your mobility is going to go away. As soon as you can't walk, that's going to be the end of it for you. All right, so I'm going to refer her to one of my bariatric surgery colleagues up in Kentucky so that she can be watched a little more closely. I'm really worried about you because your chances of dying in the next five years are about 80% if nothing happens. If you were to die in five years, you'd miss my son's graduation. Miss your baby for getting into the first grade. It's really hard to hear Tammy might die in five years. I don't want that to happen. That's my best friend. There's so much for her to experience. The baby's birth, the baby's first word, the baby's first step. I'm gonna end up visiting her in a cemetery if she don't straighten her up. It's hard to hear having to put one of your sisters in the ground. It, it just ain't right. It's really time to make it happen for yourself, let alone what anybody else here says. Are you all right? 